Welcome back guys, this is Henry15028 Inc. I'm back and before I start I'm going to ask you guys to please click on every ad in or around my videos. Please click like, add, subscribe, comment below on what you are having help with or if you think I've been doing a good job. And we are continuing with introduction to functions in JavaScript. Section 3 of 3 and this thing is called um, functions and variables. So let's just begin and what they want us to do is they want us to create a function called perimeter box and make sure that you spell it exactly that the way that they want it to in the proper cases like uppercase or lowercase because that could really trip you up. Um, and for function this annoying person always trying to talk to me like she doesn't understand that I don't want to talk to her. Um, so what we want to do is function and length with curly braces and we want to return both the length and the width. So just do something like this. I mean something like this. I can't spell so my bad. Okay guys, so what we basically, I'm not going to talk about it anymore. We created a function, but the one thing that's different over here is we have two different um, two different parameters. And now remember how I told you we can have more than one? This is basically how it's done. Just put a, a comma, and I typically like to give it some space um, so it's better for my eyes to pick up. Now what this basically does is we're trying to find the length the dimensions of this perimeter box so length and width we'll dive into height later but this is what we're starting off with primarily so we want to return length whatever the length is times two whether whatever the width is times two and then just add them together and that's how you get perimeter um seems simple enough but it works just fine if you just leave it like this I don't know why because I thought it would be incomplete um I guess I was overachieving because on my when I originally did my um did this I had it something like this um it's the same person like seriously seriously like 20 year old college chicks don't have anything to do um anyway um originally this is what I did I guess I didn't need this line of code but I guess I would say get into the habit of it in a way so it let me just explain what I did here length over here gets substituted for number five and width over here gets substituted for number eight five times two equals ten ten eight times two equals 16 10 plus 16 26 right here bam let's go global versus local variables and this is something that I actually learned doing C++ back in the summer like in 2012 I guess like maybe like June or May somewhere around there now I guess a global variable the best way to describe it um is something that's not that's outside of whatever you want it to be so like let's say this function right here is happening look at this multiplied is down here well we're going to set multiplied equal to something um we're going to set it equal to five because they want us to set it equal to five i would tell you more but that's all we need to know for right now run now that's interesting oh I just forgot something var multiplied run that's even interesting er interesting and I I keep spelling it wrong run once again and we get the check mark uh, make sure you spell it right or else you'll be looking like a fool in YouTube or whatever you're doing um yeah so 
I guess a global is outside of whatever you're, you wanted to do like it's outside of this function and a local is inside of it I guess I'll talk um, more in depth about it later on so keep watching um so we're moving on to functions recap and basically for this one this one you want to um basically it's the same thing that we've been doing except string version so let's just continue um i'm just going to do this you don't really need it but i i, I don't know if you need it or not that's just what i did um I'm not always right, as you can tell, but that's just what I did. Take it or leave it. Um, it's cool. So, what we are going to do is console dot log, like we've been doing this whole time. Um, just basically calling it back. Um, let's say, well, we they, it tells us what we have to say anyway. So, don't even bother using your creativity for right now um but down here we can use our creativity so down here name string just give it a name um let's say and drew no forget andrew luck the man of the hour joe flacco i still think he's overrated but and i live in baltimore but let's just do it boom 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 so like basically what we do is we set up the function just like we would with any numbers except this time it's still the same except this time what really changed is we're using strings so I told you earlier that if we were using numbers pretty much all you would have to do is like that hi I am nine but if you want to use strings you can't just type it out like normally like you can't you you have to attach it with a string so boom hi I am Henry um but man of the hour Mr. Flacco 120 million dollars I think 20 30 million somewhere around there I don't think he deserves that kind of money but I'm not the one in charge moving on moving on let's see if I can do this straight out of memory um let's see var equals credit check um equals function well, let's see can I do this straight out of memory um I don't think I can but yeah um we want to substitute that for income that's weird okay so basically what we want to do is we want to write an if statement so if income and use the module um, is greater than a hundred greater than or equal to a hundred then this is pretty much what's going to happen to you um we want to console.log um look for the statement over here that tells you what to um write in basically just copy it so there's no way that you can mess it up so i'll explain all of this later just be patient with me um and for the else statement, this is how I like to set it up. Um, console dot log. Oh my gosh, you guys are all hearing this right? Like she just does not give up. Um, down here, we're setting it up and. Basically, right here we have to call it so credit check. Um, seventy five, one twenty one. I mean, one twenty five. Sorry about that. Should it be fifty or call it with one hundred? 
I, I don't know. After you call 175, call it. On my on my example, I put it 150, but I don't know if that's correct. So let me. No, I'm right. Okay, so basically what we did here is we created a function that's going to check for our income. Um, so if your income is divisible by three and it's greater than a hundred you earn a lot of money you qualify for a credit card if it's not greater than a hundred alas you do not qualify for a credit card capitalism is cruel like that so um some of you guys can do math without really needing a calculator but for all of us i'm just going to hit run and we have an error I wonder what the error is um give me a second to proof this the only thing that I could think of really is this um credit check we still get it so hold on but again the only real thing that I could find out that I, I don't know but maybe if I give these things space I, I can't I don't know why that we are getting this error message um income is not defined I don't I don't know why it's not defined I found the mistake three minutes later look at here I put income I put an M instead of an N and that that really was my only mistake so I wasted like a minute troubleshooting this um make sure you spell it right um income so what we get is alas you do not qualify for a credit card capitalism is cool like that so what it's basically telling us is we don't have enough money to qualify. Um, we don't. All of our money does not total is not greater than a hundred. So moving on um, to finish this course, basically all we need to do is to press run, and I want you guys to press the next button because after that I'm going to show you guys how to make rock paper scissors not only for JavaScript but for Python as well and the javascript version on codecademy is it is so annoying it is so frustrating that you guys have to watch this or else you will be spending a lot of time looking through your code again and again and again until you a you either find what you're doing wrong b you you see something someone else's example or b or d you just watch my video how simple is that so add like subscribe this is henry1502 inc let me press run i'm out